Hello again, this is going to be the Prussia Riprap Build 12. We're going to be attaching the print bed and we'll be using uh, IT bed and this is the MK1 uh, version. And I've already, uh, on the back side, I've already uh, soldered on the wiring. I don't have the LEDs or, or the resistor, but I probably will in the future. Alright, so this is the, the the base of the print bed and I've already cut into it a little bit and I'll explain what each one is. So these holes are going into the bottom print bed and I cut into it a little bit so when my screw goes in there it won't uh, pop out at all so then uh, so when this, the hot plate goes on top it won't be uh, getting bent on that. And then another thing, uh, these are all cut out so I can use uh, small clips to clip the glass directly onto the heat bed. And then over here, this is uh, cut into a little bit so that the wiring and the solder from the heat bed will have a place to come out when it's sitting flat on the wood. Alright, and then here's the glass for perfect, fl perfectly flat print base that we'll be using. Okay, so first I'll be putting these uh, number six two inches long screws with a washer and then the top print bed plate and then another washer with a pen spring another washer a screw another screw and then the bottom print plate with a lock uh, nut all right and then this will allow us to uh, to regulate the size or the each corner here um, so we can get a level as possible with our uh, hot end. Okay, so I got this now on the ripper app, and the reason why there's a hole in the min middle is because I am going to be taping on the back of the heat bed a 100k thermistor, and I place a dot right in the center where I'm going to do that, and I'll just be taping that there. And then I'll bend this up in the middle, and then I'll tape underneath here, all the way up to here. Um, well, I'll solder some wires to this, and then uh, bring them all the way to the front with uh, to convene with these, so that they leave at the same point here, and then come around, and then go into uh, the ramps. All right. So this is the. Krypton tape that I'll be taping the thermos thermistor in the middle. Okay, so here's the completed hot 
bed. I taped on the thermistor, and then I have these wires going out to the front so I can quick uh, uh, put them in. And the only problem is with mine, um, since the screws go right here to connect this top plate to this bottom plate, are right on the sides of the of this uh, hotbed, so I'm gonna have to somehow thread these wires through the hole that I made, and then tape it on the bot bottom while this piece is on. And then I'll also screw this in with number four screws with a washer through the heat bed through the, this top plate, and then a washer and nut, and then we'll attach the glass. Okay, so here's the bottom of the print plate. It, like taped it up. It's not going where it's not going to catch on anything. And right here too, I taped cuz uh the belt is touching that. So to so it doesn't wear and tear that much. Put tape there. Okay, so now the top the piece of glass that we're actually going to print on I'm just going to lay it right on top of the heat bed and then to keep it in place I'm just going to use these clamps to hold it in on these spots that I have uh, cut open Okay, so this is the finished print bed. Now all I have to do is wire it up to the ramps and I'll be done with that. And then the final thing that I have to do to finish uh, the riprap is to make the hot end. And here's my Maker Gear kit.